is something something uh, just imagine you are given a number so you can see it is 1 2 4 8 so it is actually a 11 8 plus 2 plus 1 so you are given a number 11 you will convert this number to a binary form and then you can just easily check out that how many number of ones are in this number and that will be 3 and that will be your answer and the same goes for this next number it is just having one bit that's your answer next goes for this number it has all these bits it is your answer now it just says that it can be a maximum 32 length number uh, like it can it can have a length of 32 so it can for sure uh, come inside our input range now the first basic question which comes in our mind is or the first basic solution which comes in our mind is that okay I don't, it's just a number 11 we can just convert this number to a binary form and if we convert the number to a binary form just remember how you used to convert the number to a binary form we just have a simple check that while i have this number which is n let's say your number n is 11 here while this number is there then simply get out the remainder because ultimately the remainder will let me know that the last bit is a one or a zero so i'll just do a 11 more 2 last bit is one because it is one so i know that the, that corresponds last bit is one okay cool now when that bit is consumed simply simply one way is to shift one way is to think in the this binary form terms and one way is to think in the mathematical form terms now if we think in the binary form terms we will just check for the last bit which is simply saying that you can just easily check by n and one see again i will show you two techniques for this for this first approach itself that one is in the binary form way that you check the last bit because you can imagine the number is a binary number so you can just check the last bit by n and 1 if it is there okay if n and 1 is actually a 1 or basically you can say that if it is not equal to 0 then you can just simply say that okay i have a last bit and i'll just simply increase my answer because i have consumed one bit but then i have to remove this bit also so i'll just simply do a right shift of this number n right shift so with this what will happen is n will right shift so with this you will see that you will consume the last bit if it is one increase your answer if not then no matter what simply do a right shift now to just think in the number it is we thought of in the binary form now to think in the number form what we can do is we can just say okay while the number is there just check the last last like remainder so i'll just do a 11 mod 2 okay the while oh sorry if 11 which means n mod 2 if it is a 1 which means i have the remainder which means for sure the last bit would have been there then simply increase the answer if not then n equal to n by 2 it is same as saying n right shift by 1 and thus ultimately i can simply get my answer so with this i can simply get in now you will see that it will try to ultimately let's say in worst case i would have a one here so it will try to ultimately go to this one this one then it will try to go to all of these locations this 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 it will keep on going until the last location so its complexity will be the total number of bits its complexity will be o of total number of bits and when I say these, it includes zero bits also and one bits also. Now, why is this important? I'm showing you because in the next approach, you will optimize it. Although in the worst case, still the complexity will remain same, total number of bits, but still the interviewer can ask you to optimize this more, which you will see. But yeah, right now you have seen that we can just think it of as a number form or a binary form and we can do it in both ways still the complexity in both ways will be over total number of bits let's quickly have a check that how we can do it so you know that we will have our simple answer now i just simply have iterating all on my n and i will say while i have my n if my n uh, mod 2 if it is there uh, if this n, n mod 2 is there simply increase your answer and no matter what if you have an n or you don't have an n simply divide that by 2 and simply return your answer with this you are just simply getting the last n uh, which is the remainder and then like getting a number half so its complexity is o of total number of bits now now is the trick of bit manipulation for which i have made this video so coming on back if you had an n let's say you had an imaginary n now what we were doing now what we have to improvise is we were actually using the complexity as total number of bits rather if i say i just only want the one bit count right i only want the one bit count so why i am even counting the zero bits 
here I was iterating on all the bits, which includes zero bits also. So now I am saying I will do one technique. I will go only on the bits which are one, which are one, which are one, which are one. So with this, my complexity will actually reduce to O of one bit count. Now uh, you will say R in the worst case, what if all bits are one? Yeah, that is true. In the worst case, both will be same. But still, it is in average case better than the above one because it is not counting the zero bits. It's only counting the one bit and that is what you wanted ultimately also. So how this can be achieved? It's, it can simply be achieved by just making sure that if you have a number like this, Right. If you have a number like this, just simply make sure that you are always going on and removing the least significant one. So here you will see that you will remove this particular one. Then you will remove the next one. Then you will remove the next one. Then you will remove the next one. So basically you are just removing one at every moment and the same will go. So you will see that you will have all these bits. Let's say all these bits are there. Now you will see that this is the least significant bit which is one and I am planning to remove this number. Now, how to do it? Simply, if you will just, and see, you might now think, okay, Aryan, how will I remember? Yeah, that is true. You might have to just think of that. What is the intuition behind removing this bit? Ultimately, now you got one thing. Okay, you just want to remove this particular one specifically. Now you have to think of what's the intuition behind removing this one. Now to remove this one, it has to become a zero. And also to remove this one, it has to become a zero. And I, I should make sure that the remaining numbers should not get affected, which is after him. So I want that all these should not get affected. And this should get and reduce to zero. Now, this can only be reduced to zero when some I, I subtract something from him. Right. I subtract something from him. So what I could I could do is I'll subtract one from this number which I, which I wrote above and I subtract a 1. Now with this subtraction of 1 you will see that if you have a number let's say 100 zero, zero, if I subtract a 1 so this becomes a 0 because it needs a carryover of 1 okay it will become a 2 but then it also needs a carryover because it is a 0 so it will become a 1 it will just carry over here which is a value 2. Now it will 2 minus 1 actually 1 it's a 1 it's a 0 it is how a binary subtraction works in but you will see that when you try to subtract, when you try to subtract 1001, you get a 011. So this got a 0, which is what we wanted. And these, okay, the, these got a 1, but we will handle it as we will plan to handle. But yeah, we can actually handle it as we see how we can handle this. But yeah, ultimately you see that nothing after this will be affected because what this number wants is actually making this number 0. So ultimately, I got this number as 0 and all these numbers as 1 and for sure the, the other number will never get affected because I'm not getting any carryover from these numbers. So I'll just get this number 0, it's a 1, it's a 2, so I just get a 0, 1, 1 and you will see that all these numbers are unaffected. Now, do you remember your main task, right? Do you remember your aim, kya tha? I remember that Pakistani movie, uh, there was something. Cool. Uh, we'll just go back and see that okay uh, you remember your maksut right so you have these numbers you have to modify this to a zero okay you have a zero here all this will not be modified why why not simply add these two numbers because in this half part it is same in this half part it is same this has become a zero it is what we wanted and we just also wanted the remaining half part to remain same the remaining last part we know it is all zeros so if i do and operation with this all ones so for sure everything will become a zero so it is how we can achieve our maksat now what we will do is this has become a zero this has all become a zero because we are doing an and operation with a zero and a one because we know that all these in the right are zero and this is all our ones so for sure the and will always be a zero and this will remain as it is intact so you will see with this one operation and n and n minus one we have achieved to reduce our least significant bit as zero and with this in the next moment you will see that the num the, a number has become something like this the number has become something like this so it will now go to the next significant bit so on every of these operation it is going on to the next significant which means the next least significant bit it is going on it is going on it is going on so you will always jump on to the next least significant bit and that's how you can just simply get it solved in o of one bit count one bit count time
and that's your time although again i said it's in the worst case it will still be same but still um, it actually it is actually what the interviewer wants to ask you so uh, i'll just simply say that uh, while uh, my n is not equals to zero so i can just simply firstly increase my count because i have got one bit and i'll just simply um, get my new number because i'll just say i'll do a in 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 minus one so i have just removed the le the least significant bit and uh, the same i will keep on going in the while loop and ultimately i can just simply return the answer that's that's how simple it is cool i hope that you guys got it as you know goodbye again bye bye